Hello friends, this is Dr. Arbi Kusoha and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon for further notification. Today we have a case of the mid tibial fracture. The fracture is transverse fracture and uh, we have prepared this tibia for the closed internal leaping. So since uh, the fracture is transverse fracture and it is in the mid diaphysis, so I plan for the first uh, do the intermediate pinning with close reduction and the normal grade pinning. Landmarks of this for this one is this is the anterior side and this is the posterior side. So this is the left tibia. This one is the anterior tibial tuberosity. This one is the medial tibial tuberosity and a depression. This is the tibial plateau. So for intermediate pinning for normal grade pinning we insert the pin from here so after inserting the pin in the proximal fracture fragment then i will apply the traction over the distal one and try to reduce uh, with the close and if i fail to do this and then i will make the knee hairs that's why i prepare i ready for the both protocol so if i fail for the close intermediate pinning then i open this here and then do the open reduction and then rest of the procedure as the normal uh, internal lipid. I will make incision here. So this is the end threaded pin. You could see here the, the end is threaded. So advantage of putting the end threaded pin is that it anchor in the distal segment properly. It's not defeated, so migration on the other. So, but we move in them only one direction. So, I have already measured the diameter of the medullary cavity, so it is around 8 mm. So, it is a 5 mm. So we should make the alignment like in this. So I will try to pass the pin in the proximal fracture fragment. So this is the end threaded pin, so that's why I am going in unidirectional. So I put one finger here, this is transverse fracture, so first I try to feel the end of the pin. I think pin is about to emerge from the proximal fracture fragment.
under the manipulation is sometimes more than the open reduction but once you reduce the fracture fragment by close method the healing will be faster Now I felt the tip of the pin. It means the pin has gone in the proximal fracture correctly. Now I will try to reduce the distal segment. This is the fracture segment of the this distal one. So now I will apply the traction for the few. I will try to apply the traction at the distal segment for the minimum. The slight swelling in the limb otherwise will be easier but since there is a swelling at the fracture side so that is why it is difficulty in palpating the fracture fragment exactly so it is i just try if it gone then it's okay otherwise definitely i make a small incision here and then reduce and pass simply Now with the little manipulation probably I have reduced this one. It will only after radiography. Seems that it is now going because it is moving. So I think it has gone in a distal segment. So advanced.
Vini de da. Reference pin. So it has gone. So this is unless threaded in threaded pin. So it has gone. It has gone in the register. Okay. So now we will take the radiograph and then if it is okay then I just cut from here and that's the procedure. So I will come back soon after radiograph. So this is the pre-operative radiograph of the affected limb. So this is the medial lateral view of the, the tibia. You could see this is the proximal fracture fragment, this is the distal fracture fragment and the, there is a mid diaphyseal fracture, transverse fracture. So the proximal fracture fragment and distal fracture fragment both deviated cordially. So and uh, if you look at the orthogonal view, so that is right angle of the previous one. So you could see here, so this is the transverse fracture with slight dentation of the fracture site. So this is the proximal fracture fragment, this is the distal fracture fragment and in this view fracture fragment deviated medially. So overall the fracture fragment deviated caudally and medially. And uh, this one is the immediate post operative radiograph. This is the mediolateral view. So you could see uh, how excellent fracture fixation has been done the reduction anatomical reduction is very good and the end threaded pin has seated very nicely in the distal segment but if you see closely so that end of the pin is very close to the articular surface so it would be better if i rotate in back direction or few rotation so that the it moves approximately 2 to 3 mm. So it is just a precautionary measure otherwise even this one is also good. So let us see the orthogonal view. This is the craniocaudal view of the same bone. So you could see the pin is in the medullary cavity. So this is uh, an indication that okay the pin is inside the medullary cavity and you could see appreciate a here that how beautifully the reduction is here and the pin is also seated nicely in the distal segment this is the proximal segment so overall uh, uh, i am happy with the fixation so as for the radiograph the distal end of the pin fitted very beautifully but since the fracture in the mid side so I have the liberty to withdraw the because sometime during the movement it appears so not only the few mm so even the three or four rolling and sufficient okay so now I will cut from the hair close so I have cut it the extra portion of the pin. Now the next is I just suture this is very small incision. A simple one simple interrupted suture. So although uh, manipulation I have done during the close reduction but that manipulation even better than the open reduction so so that's it this close reduction and normal good and primarily pinning of the left tibia thank you for watching uh, the video and if you like uh, this video so kindly share the video with your friends and uh, subscribe the channel if you have not subscribed the channel